Um, so I guess I'd like to start by um, explaining that I'm here representing as president of the Jewelry District Association, but also as part of uh, the stakeholders, some of whom you have heard from today. Uh, Patricia Raub would be one of them, uh, the Transit Riders Alliance, and John Flaherty from Smart Growth, who I'm quite sure will get his audio squared away. I'd like to ask uh, the RIPTA board, uh, the slides that uh, you see today that had just been posted, uh, is today the first time that you've seen the new slides? Because clearly this is not the deck that was presented to all of us on July 22nd. Can I just have verification of that, please? Well, this is a public comment period, uh, not really intended to survey the board on any particular question. Okay, then let me go on the assumption that uh, you haven't seen them uh, for very much in advance the same way that I haven't. So, uh, go, Director go, Director of the D... Don't go on that assumption. Uh, okay, so, well, let's just say the director of Adhesion didn't spend any time talking about lots of other changes, like rearranging the train uh, station hub, uh, like what's supposed to happen in detail in Garrahi Garage, the on-street parking, uh, the grid site, working assumption, uh, interim concepts B, C, and D. So... If all of those things we are seeing for the first time, um, I think we are in the same place that we were at on the 22nd of July, which is that uh, the, the process is to say it would be transparent would be laughable. And I think Patricia uh, was actually way too kind. Um, there has been no stakeholder outreach. Uh, there has been, let's pretend we're having stakeholder outreach. Uh, and I must say, I'm not laying this at the feet of RIPTA. In fact, I'm laying it at the feet of RIDOT, uh, because heretofore, everything we have heard has been from RIDOT. Uh, let me go back and answer one of your board members in terms of the meeting, the ERP meeting that was held, uh, where 47 people were left on the line for two hours and being forced to listen to Stephen Devine uh, from RIDOT uh, present less than accurate and truthful information uh, to the people in that room. So there is another meeting at five o'clock today. There will be, I'm sure, who knows, maybe 75 people today, and they are going to not having, having even seen the deck that you all put out there today. So my question is, how can someone react to something that they have not seen in a matter of minutes? So if uh, Director Avedesian says that the outreach started in July and will continue through October, in our world, the new outreach starts today because there is a new deck and the outreach ought to be modified moving forward. So at this point, we have a situation where we're told about grid. Uh, it, it seems, from all we can tell, uh, that RIDOT has uh, apparently relied on uh, a, a temporary and interim solution that, of course, is going to become permanent because they've relied on some good faith partnership with grid not one of us has heard one iota about. So let's just assume maybe that's happening and maybe it's not happening. But all of this is at this point built on a house of cards. And to add insult to injury, uh, this bond, uh, which started out being $35 million, Many of us um, who have been uh, at this for a while now and are doing uh, a fair amount of research, it's come to our attention that a significant uh, number in the tens of millions of dollars has been drawn down from that $35 million bond. And in addition to that, let's just say several millions of dollars has been spent. So perhaps this is the time for some of the press who are on the call uh, to request an audit for 
how much money do we actually have at this point in time uh, to literally build out a transit hub? Um, so I submit to you, we are now starting from scratch. Uh, and if anyone uh, at RIDOT or RIPTA expects us to literally uh, roll over and accept what we heard today from the first time, um, I'm sorry to tell you that's not uh, transparency and that's not uh, the way government ought to work these days. Thank you.